Okay, so we're coming off of a, uh, a down year for us, six and five. We, we didn't really lost a couple games tight late, um, but we uh, we had a great spring. Our kids uh, were pretty excited about getting back at it. I feel like uh, last year was a kind of a hangover from the pandemic, and, a, and we didn't handle it really well. So I think our guys are pretty excited about what's coming up this year. Offensively, uh, I think we have a great running back in Jaden McKenzie to build off of Phil Poque. It's also back there. Maurice and Mascua will give us some time in there also. Um, our offensive line is really um, one of our better offensive lines since I've been here. We are pretty big and physical, which we, ha we weren't last year. We were a little small last year. So I think that's going to help us a lot. Um, we graduated a couple of good uh, receivers, particularly at tight end. So we're going to have to replace those guys, but I think uh, we're going to be better blocking-wise at tight end, and then uh, those guys will get better catching the football as the season wears on. So I really like our offense, and of course at quarterback, um, we, we were up and down at quarterback last year. We settled on Shane Dooley late. He had some really good football games for us, um, and in, in this in his second year of starting, I think, He'll take that next step for us, and uh, he's a real weapon back there, and he's a tough, competitive kid and a great leader, so I really think we're going to get something uh, good out of that position this year. Defensively, we're going to be young up front, but, <clears throat> but I think pretty talented. Uh, Jackson Taylor returns for us at middle linebacker, and he's an All-American Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, we're going to add some pieces around him that I think are going to make us a little bit faster, a little bit stronger, too. So I think uh, that will help Jackson out. And then I think our secondary is really deep. We had some issues in the secondary last year. I think we've solved them. Uh, we have uh, a couple of older kids, transfer kids, who are going to come in and help us out. And um, I really do believe our secondary is as good as we've had. We've had a couple of individuals better, but I think as a group, this is probably as good as we've had, especially with the depth. And then um, our kicker, Sean Henry, has had an outstanding spring. Boy, talk about a, a kid that just jumped leaps and bounds from his freshman year to now coming into his sophomore year. Tons of confidence in him. He's, he can kick off the ball in the end zone pretty much all the time. And he kicked a couple field goals in practice in the spring uh, over 60 yards. So we're excited about where Sean's headed. So from the uh, extra point field goal kickoff, uh, situation we're in great shape we think uh, Chris Barbera will likely handle the punting um, and it'll be he's our third year in the program we feel pretty confident about him but this will be the first year actually doing it so uh, he'll kind of uh, hopefully he'll get some experience or maybe not as much experience as a punter hopefully so uh, I feel good about where we're at